Is this still Kerbal Space Program 1? You better believe it! Hello everybody and welcome! The early access release of Kerbal Space Program 2 is happening in little more than one month. As we know there will be giant spaceships, there will be new parts, there will be shiny new things and there will also be clouds. But, well, there was one thing that creative director Nate Simpson said in one of the videos, and it was this. The graphics have to be peerless. Well, that's a bit of a tall order, because if you remember, I made this video where I uh, showed you the parallax mod that turned the bland surfaces of stock KSP into these gorgeous habitats. Now Blackrack, the creator of the very famous and beloved visual mod Scatterer, is now working on new volumetric clouds for Kerbal Space Program by continuing the mod environmental visual enhancements. And this is it. We are in a dawn scene, just starting and launching our little jet here, and we're launching into a massive cloud formation that is illuminated nicely. Well, what visual mods do we have here? We have EVE, the Environmental Visual Enhancements mod, with already a test version of the true volumetric clouds that you can see here. We also have, of course, Scatterer installed, and I also have Parallax running and the performance is actually very nice. But I may not be a good benchmark because I have quite a beefy PC still, although it's almost two years old now. I think I forgot when I bought it actually. <laughs> Anyhow, I mean, look at that. It's really beautiful. And now that we punch through the cloud layer, the top cloud layer, we can uh, we get treated to a beautiful sunrise above the clouds. Would you look at that? Well, right off the bat, when I launched this for the first time with uh, this test version of the true volumetric clouds for EVE, it was a totally new experience of flying, actually. It, it gave so much more immersion to flying around, flying through clouds, and just enjoying flying, basically. <laughs> I mean, I'm more like a rocket guy than a jet guy, but this here, I mean, take a look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? If you don't say that's gorgeous, I will hunt you in the comments. No, I won't. Of course not. Yeah, you can see the, the new water surface that's uh, part of a scatterer. You can see, of course, the sun streaking across the ocean. And we have, of course, the clouds here on top and yeah because it was so nice the first time around let's punch to another cloud layer over here there we go even some lens flare in there and look at those cloud towers yeah i'm not a meteorologist i'm sure there is a a cumulus stratocumulus cirrocumulus whatever name for that and i apologize for not knowing it but i just like fly through this. But there's something else that's new in uh, this iteration of the mod and it's rain. Yeah, we now have some weather effects and if we uh, wait a little bit until I get through this cloud layer here, you're going to see some hazy stuff below the clouds and there it is. If you've ever flown and looked out the window and saw a rain cloud in the distance, then you would see similar hazy stuff going from that cloud down to the surface. And basically, a black a black rack was going for a similar effect with his mod here. You can see it a bit over here. You can see the clouds on top, and right below the clouds, you can see the the downpour. What we don't have, of course, is raindrops and stuff, but maybe that comes later or not at all. Honestly, I'm fine with it. <laughs> it is. I mean, this is just a preview test version that was available on Black Rex Patreon. So that's where you can get it, by the way. But where else do we have clouds? Well, the first is Eve, and you can see here the new first surface features from the Parallax mods. Those are not part of the volumetric cloud update, but from the Parallax surface features. 
And on Eve, we have multiple cloud layers. I think five or six or something like that. The first is around a thousand meters. Then the next one starts roughly at 5,000 meters. And we're going to fly through that right now, because then between 5,000 and 10,000 meters, we're in what I would like to call the Pink Cloud Palace. Because it's like this huge cavity, this huge cave of clouds that you can fly through and you, you're in between these cloud, cloud layers and it looks truly majestic. That's some real cloud artistry going on here. Is that the right word? I don't know. I don't care. Anyway, we can still go higher, which was not easy with a single motor prop plane, even though Eve's atmosphere is a lot thicker. But we were able to get to about 14 kilometers above sea level, and that's where the cloud layers end, and you have free view of the sun. But we also have lathe, of course, and while most of the clouds here look similar to Kerbin, what's that in the background? That doesn't look like a standard cloud, does it? Nope, ladies and gentlemen, this is a volcano. Or rather, a plume of a volcano. I didn't see any lava coming out of the floor, uh, the ground. Floor is lava? Well, not here. Anyway, this does not hurt the engines or anything when you fly through it. It's just a visual mod to make things nicer. It also looks stunning when you're in orbit and look down and see multiple of these volcanoes. Makes you wonder about the uh, the activity of Lathe as a, well not planet, as a moon. Because Parallax adds some ice onto the oceans, but we still have volcanoes going, so how warm is it over there? Speaking of warm, or not warm, we are here on Duna. Well, not on Duna, above Duna, and we can already see a lonely cloud over there casting a shadow on the ground, which is kind of beautiful. But we also see dust storms or dust clouds hanging on the surface, appropriately in the canyons, which is which is a nice touch. But of course, we can also fly through those. As with the volcano or the other clouds, this of course does not have any adverse effects to your vehicles. Except your visibility, but that's not a problem for the vehicle, that's a problem for you, the pilot. So please be careful where you're flying. Because the first time I flew through the rain stuff, I thought I was still in the clouds. Didn't pull up in time and I crashed into the ground. Unfortunately, there's no video of that, but that would have been entertaining. And now we're out of the dust storm again. And look at that behind us. Of course, there is the next one coming, because there is a lot of them on Duna right now. In this test version of the volumetric cloud update for EVE, there are a lot more of these dust storms and rainstorms or whatever to test them thoroughly. So maybe in the future day there will be less of them. So if you're interested in trying this out, what you have to do is get early access to the EVE development releases, and those are only available on Black Rex Patreon. So if you are a fan of his work, I mean, he's he's working on a visual enhancement for KSP for quite some years now, you could, for the low price of 4 euro or whatever this is in your currency, you can support him and make sure that things like this happen. This is just one person from the Coral Space com uh, from the Coral Space Program community creating something wonderful and making it available for everyone for free. So a little bit of support for him would be nice. I'm going to leave this video by just flying around through clouds because that's what I did for the past few days for most of the time because I was actually quite stunned at how beautiful this more than, what is it now, 12, 13, more than 10? Anyhow, this game is older than a decade and look at how it still looks or can look when you put some love into it. So, since I am sure that the developers of Kerbal Space Program 2 also put a lot of love into their game, I'm very curious 
how much love the clouds will get, because there will be clouds. I've seen clouds in some pre-alpha gameplay releases, but how good will the implementation really be? If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.